we have different challenges. So now we have our kids. They are raised in public schools mostly. They go to college surrounded by overwhelming majority of non-Muslims. They are taught by atheist professors. So they are creating doubts in their hearts about Islam, about Allah and His Messenger. So some of the kids, they come clearly straightforward to their parents and tell them, my parents who are Muslims, I respect that. I'm not Muslim and you must respect me. And some of the kids, they are not able to say it. So they, they live the double faces life, double life. So he is Muslim with the Muslims, non-Muslims with the non-Muslims. So he practice hypocrisy. And some of, some of them are guided and saved by Allah. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. We have atheism rate in the Muslim community past the 25%. 25% of, of the children of the Muslims, the Muslim kids, more than 25% are completely atheists. And they say it clearly. So because of the time, the solution of this is to educate them about the deen. It's very important for them to learn the deen. And from authentic source, we need to let them hear the deen. Subhanallah, when you bring scholars and students of knowledge from overseas and they come here, there is a big gap. Because the immigrants, they have different speed. So they are, not, they are not able to catch the kids. So we need the scholars born and raised in this society. Those who are able to speak English without accent, not like me. We need somebody to speak better. Somebody understand the society, understand the law of the land, the culture of this society, the mentality of the people, how to speak, how to present the aqidah of Islam, the creed, how to represent the Sharia, the legislations, how to attract the kids. If you make a speech here in this masjid, invite the youth, none of them will come for me. But if you bring somebody born and raised in this country, he knows how to open their hearts, you will, feel them, you will see the masjid backed. So our mission is to have generations of scholars to come to be able to carry the flag of da'wah in this land. That's why I came from New Jersey State to visit your masjid today. I wanted to tell you, push your kids to learn the deen. Ask them to go to fill up application in one of the online universities. Learn your deen. And support every Islamic university in this country. Support them, they will become better. So one day you will see the scholars who are giving fatwas are strong in knowledge and honest. Because unfortunately, we whether have people who are weak in knowledge, or people who are strong in knowledge, but they don't have sincerity. They play with the deen. They make the halal haram and the haram halal. And they open their masajid for fatwa shopping. You can go and get whatever fatwa you want. They can make any major sin to you halal. Don't worry about it. So we need the person who has these two qualities. Allah said in the khayra man istajarta al qawi al amin. The, the, the most a uh, qualified person to hire is the one who has a strength in knowledge and, is, and trustworthiness. The one who will say the truth no matter what. The one who will put effort from his heart, not, not because you are paying him. He's doing it because he, want to, he, wants to, he wants to please Allah, not because he's receiving salary. So in order to raise this generation, we need to support them. So speak to your son, tell him, go. Even if you are learning in medical school, even if you want to be pharmacist, even if you are studying engineering, it's okay. Have part-time in the Islamic school online. So when you have Saturday and Sunday, study. When you have afternoon, when you come back from college, study. Study your deen. Participate in da'wah. Guide your friends. Because if you are not busy doing something good, you will be busy doing something wrong. You cannot just be doing nothing. Everybody is doing something, whether it's good or bad. 
So keep your kids busy learning their deen, participating and volunteering in the da'wah activities, and support the Islamic schools and, 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 and universities for your kids to find institutions to help them to become strong and effective. So inshallah, Allah will remove the life of the strangers. Allah will remove it just with time until we go to the, to, to the right and the final period of the life of the Muslims. When we go back and practice the deen the way it was practiced in the time of the Prophet. When we will have leaders just close to, I'm not going to say they will match, but close to the righteous predecessors, the companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Just close to. We can, do, we can do it. We can go there, inshallah, tabarak wa ta'ala. So my brothers and sisters, I came here as guest to speak to you about Mishka University. Mishka University is very well known here in Houston, especially because the base is here in Almira. And you have the president and the founder of this university is Dr. Salah Sawi, who is one of the top scholars of the Muslims in the world. And Alhamdulillah, they have an online, online program to help the youth to learn their deen from strong teachers and to help them to understand how to represent their deen in society like this. So I'm asking you to support this university by asking your kids to sign their names as students and you sign your name yourself because there is no age limit. If you, if you need to learn, go sign your own name. And in the same time, support with money because without support, none of the Islamic institution will survive. Because nobody's taking care of the masajid and the Islamic schools and the universities except you as Muslims. When you pay tuition or when you pay donation. Tuition or donation. Without that, there is no way for them to survive. So we need to be hand to hand, building our institutions, helping our kids to be raised in this tough society. Because you cannot bring them here to face the high waves of fitan and tribulations and temptations and leave them by themselves. We, we need to do the means. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide our hearts, to obey Him and to submit to Him and to live as Muslims until we meet with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahumma ghfir lana dhunubana ajma'een wa habil musi'ina minna lil muhsineen. Allahumma ghfir lana dhunubana ajma'een wa habil musi'ina minna lil muhsineen. اللهم إنا نسألك أن تردنا جميعا إلى دينك مردا جميلا اللهم اجعلنا جميعا من عبادك الصالحين اللهم اجعلنا جميعا من عبادك الصالحين واغفر لنا ذنوبنا يا رب العالمين اللهم اشرح صدورنا اللهم اشرح صدورنا اللهم طهر قلوبنا اللهم احفظ فروجنا اللهم إنا نسألك رضاك والجنة ونعوذ بك من سخطك والنار اللهم أصلحنا وأزواجنا وأولادنا واجعلنا صالحين مصلحين اللهم اهدنا ويسر الهدى لنا واهدي أزواجنا وأولادنا واجعلنا هداة مهتدين اللهم اغفر لنا ولوالدينا يا رب العالمين واجعل خير أعمالنا خواتمها وخير أيامنا يوم لقائك اللهم انصر عبادك المستضعفين في كل مكان اللهم انصر عبادك المستضعفين في الهند وفي غزة وفي سوريا والعراق وفي ليبيا وفي اليمن وفي كل أرض يا رب العالمين اللهم إنا نسألك أن تحقن دماء المسلمين في السودان اللهم احقن دماء المسلمين في السودان اللهم احقن دماء المسلمين في السودان ورد المسلمين إلى دينك مردا جميلا سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين قوموا إلى صلاتكم يرحمكم الله أقم الصلاة